So I think we can begin. Uh, so as I said, uh, welcome to everybody. So we can open the International Spring Cool on Integrated Operational Problems. Um, that is a spring school dedicated to uh, PhD students and young researchers and industrials. Uh, that is uh, in collaboration uh, or with uh, four um, working groups, uh, I will detail that after, and uh, Yumi, Seyo, Wadef, and also in collaboration, we'll see after, with uh, a chair. So here uh, we have, uh, it is organized with uh, the working group on transportation and logistics, uh, the working group on meta heuristic, the working group on optimization of integrated systems and the uh, working group Bermud that works on uh, uh, scheduling uh, and the local organization is uh, by myself in collaboration uh, with Philippe Lacombe and for this event we had a lot of uh, funding so we want first to thank all our all the people who participate uh, financially to to this event. Uh, so we have uh, the um, research group on operational research. Uh, and uh, we also have OADF, uh, the region, the, uh, the university, the UTT, and uh, by uh, the team LOSI. Uh, also, uh, the UMI, uh, the working group, the um, uh, Spanish Association on uh, Operational Research, CEO, uh, and uh, of course, uh, each uh, working group. Um, as I said in introduction, it's a joint event with uh, CHAIR, so that's the CHAIR Connecting Innovation, who participate also uh, to the funding. And uh, we have here the planning, you, you, you have it uh, also with you, and uh, it was on the website. So today we will begin with a presentation by Christian Prince uh, on uh, split algorithm, then uh, Dominique Fay on column generation. Um, Jean-Charles Bio with uh, scheduling and routing, that's for today, and other lectures tomorrow and uh, Wednesday. And we will begin the tutorial, uh, that's a project on uh, computing projects, uh, with a split algorithm that will be in a room in the second floor. Um, you know where, where was the um, reception desk, so you go up on uh, the second floor and you will find the um, the room for uh, these tutorials. So here you have uh, all the speakers from uh, the, um, the school. You also will have a speaker from the, uh, the chair, but you, you know all that. And uh, we are happy to say that we, we had uh, four only for the school, um, 87 registrations from different countries. Uh, I listed uh, them here, but a uh, lot of people from uh, everywhere, in fact. <laughs> so we are proud of that. Some of them will arrive uh, in uh, half an hour, I think, <laughs> because they are still in the bus. Uh, and um, I just give you a few practical information. So here we are in uh, uh, the uh, amphitheater uh, and uh, one on one one. So it's uh, in this building and the reception desk was there. So uh, if you want to find uh, the tutorials, as I said, it's in the second floor from this building. And tomorrow night we will also have a cocktail dinner that will be on the first floor. So everything will be in this area between uh, building N and M. Uh, so once again I want to thank uh, all the people, all the organizations who 
help us to organize these events. And uh, I will call uh, the world people, but first uh, Farouk Yalawi, uh, who um, has many <laughs> functions, if I can say. So if you, you can come, just to say a few words. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to be here. It's a pleasure to see all of us, uh, to be all of us today uh, for this important event. Uh, I think it's a very huge work for more than many months. Uh, thank you to uh, Philippe from Limos to organize this at our university. Caroline, for this special day for you, I think, <laughs> for many things. Uh, what I want to say is really thank you for all the members of the uh, LOSI team for the, the energy and the involvement to the organization of this event. Uh, I would like to thank all the UTT staff for the uh, involving to this organization. It's a really, I think, important day and important two days or a little bit more. Uh, discussing the main topic, transportation and uh, many operation uh, research uh, uh, issues that could be interesting even for students and researchers and even uh, more um, final positions, I, mean, I would say. Uh, what I want to say also that I'm happy to be involved also as a holder of uh, Chair Connected Innovation. It's a very nice collaboration with many industrial people who, uh, I would say, gambling on ID and we're saying that we can work together on uh, personal research techniques applied for more real applications. Uh, this is the, the thing that you can see tomorrow if you are interested in some session we can organize. Um, what I would say, it's a really a pleasure to see you here at UTT. We used to organize many things uh, and all the, the colleagues here. I think I'm sure you will enjoy all the sessions, all the talks will be given by very, very famous and very, very high skill, I would say, uh, people. And uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. And I, I, I hope you have a very nice uh, conference and workshops and uh, sessions. Thank you. Thank you, Falk. Uh, maybe I didn't mention very well, but uh, it's uh, fourth uh, school uh, from the um, research group uh, on operational research. Uh, so, and I want to thank uh, Alan Q for uh, his help for this school. And if you want to come, say a few words also. Si j'ai bien compris, <laughs> c'est international. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first, uh, I want to uh, to to wish you a good uh, good stay here in Tro and uh, good learning with this international school. And first, also, I want to thank first University Te Te Technological University of Tro, of course, the Lozi Lab with uh, Farouk Yalawi and especially the organizers, uh, Caroline Prodon and Philippe Lacombe, since uh, effectively uh, this uh, school is uh, the fourth uh, school for young searchers of the, I'm going to explain what is JDR Hero. It is a structure of the CNRS, National Center for Scientific Research. So it's the fourth uh, school, this JDR, tries to organize. Uh, the first one was about um, approximation and combinatorial optimization, rather theoretical point of view in METS. Next it was in Grenoble about the stochastic modeling and optimization. Last year it was in partnership with artificial intelligence about constraint programming and the connection between artificial intelligence and operation research in Procore in France, of France. Next year it will be on decision and game theory. And this year, we were, last year we were really in trouble because uh, the plan was to organize a school on another topic and the people who accepted first to organize this 
uh, finally uh, gave up. And so we had to find new topic and new organizers. And Philippe and uh, Caroline accepted to, to try to organize this school with uh, short delays and less technological, less logistical help. And the six, uh, they succeeded. So uh, I want really to, to thank them for this special effort. And they did uh, in partnership with several groups and Meta and Metaristic, GT2L, which is a group that are in charge of about transportation and logistics, um, Bermude on scheduling, and also OZI on circuit design. A few words about what is the GDR Operation Research. It is a structure of the CNRS. Uh, inside CNRS, there is a special institute which is about uh, Technolo uh, information technology in INS2Z and uh, inside the scientific field is uh, split into big subfield, 12, uh, which are called GDR, which have kind of uh, thematic networks with la which may be viewed as lab without walls. And uh, operation research is one of those big topics. And so those uh, structures inside the National Scientific Center, the National Center for Scientific Research, are important since they give some uh, their legitimacy and their identities to some big scientific field. So GDR uh, Hero has been created in 2005, and since this time there have been. Uh, an important number of creation of uh, scientific position inside the CNRS and also inside the universities. So uh, it contributed to give an importance, some importance inside the scientific landscape, French landscape, uh, to this, uh, this field, to operation research and the decision system. Uh, the scientific field inside this, uh, this, is, this area, inside this uh, scientific networks, is divided into big, three big subfield. One is uh, fundament, uh, that means combinatorial optimization, constraint programming, uh, all this stuff, approximation, complexity. One is about application, some kind of application, logistic, transportation systems, scheduling, all this, uh, circuit design, health systems. And another one is about different paradigms, typically simulation, stochastic modeling, game theory, uh, cooperative decision, collaborative decision. And uh, what is the mission, what is the job of uh, this structure inside CNRS, besides giving its identity to the scientific field is to uh, create animation through uh, support to manifestation, to Congress like Roadef and Mosim. It's to uh, promote the emergence of working groups, like for instance GT de Lazelle, uh, where people, young searchers, may meet together and try to organize partnerships on some uh, specific topics, for instance, combinatorial optimization, transportation, game theory. It's also to help young searchers to organize thematic school, uh, spring school, winter school, uh, and uh, the school of the GDR, but also schools on specific topics. It's also to help young searchers through scholarships, mobility scholarships, and the GDR every year provides six, seven scholarships in order to help young searchers to go, to go abroad, to spend three months, six months abroad in other labs. It's also to, to think about what are the emerging fields, the emerging trends in the fields, and so to discuss with companies about what is happening, about the way uh, operation research is evolving, 
For instance, every year we organize a meeting with companies, an industrial day. Uh, this year it's going to be about robotics, interaction between robotics and the person research. Last year it was about the interaction between artificial intelligence and the person research. So it's a way to observe, to discuss with other searchers, with uh, companies about what is happening, the way the field is evolving. Um, we are also uh, trying to work about, for instance, we participate in the, the activities of uh, the big group EDF, Electricity of France, about the link between operation research and energy. Um, also, uh, another kind of activity we have uh, we work about uh, international, we try to promote uh, international projects, for instance, H2020 project or new kind of networks which are called GDRE, international networks at the level of CNRS. More and less, uh, those are all the mission of this kind of structure which is called uh, GDR. Okay, I'm not going to talk uh, more because <laughs> I spent enough time uh, to explain you all this. So I, sh we, I wish you, you have a well, good experience with the courses and also you have time to discover tro Troy. I don't know personally Troy, but someone told me that it's very nice town. And I hope we have a, a better weather, weather <laughs> during the forecoming days. Okay, so I thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Ella. Uh, for coming days. Okay. So I thank you very much. Thank you, Ella. So as I said also uh, in the introduction, uh, it's an international school and we have uh, the support, uh, the sponsoring from uh, international uh, institution also, and especially from Spain, uh, the, um, the Spain Society on Operational Research, who help us a lot, and uh, we are welcome to to have uh, among us uh, Andrel Corberan, who help us to have this uh, this funding and who give us a uh, good pleasure to be a speaker here in this uh, school. So maybe you can say a few words also to present CEO. Uh, thank you, Caroline. Uh, thank you, Philippe. <coughs> ah, I'm sorry. Well, uh, uh, when Philippe uh, told me about uh, participating in this school, then uh, told me about the project that uh, he and Caroline have about uh, this, I started uh, immediately, I believe, in the, same, in the project. I thought it was a very good idea, and then uh, I tried to help as much as I can. And uh, after uh, accepting to be uh, <coughs> one of the speakers of the conference to talk about what I like, or what I've been doing in uh, the last 40 years. Then they asked me to contact the Spanish Society of Statistics and OR and asking uh, some help in some way. And then uh, I did it because uh, there were several reasons, several reasons, sorry. The first one is that uh, the level of the of the, the the scientific level of the conference uh, is very good. The second one is because uh, they w it was at that time and it it is now uh, very well organized and everything is very well thought. So my congratulations on that. And uh, a third uh, reason and uh, probably the uh, one of the most important ones is that. It supposes a uh, big opportunity for people coming from different countries of Europe and abroad in order to interchange, to change experiences, to share uh, a couple of days 
living with people from other places, uh, talking about their experiences, and learning what uh, some other people can, uh, can uh, explain. So for me, it was a pleasure doing that. The society understood perfectly the reasons, and in fact, it has, it has been the first collaboration with this kind of, uh, of uh, events, and I expect uh, they will be participating in all of this and the, follow, uh, the following ones. So thank you very much. Uh, the society is very proud of having been part of, at, although in a small part of this event, and uh, that's the reason for thanking the University of Troyes and the organizers in particular the opportunity for participating in this uh, very nice project. Thank you very much. Thank you, André. And we also have another uh, in European uh, support from uh, Yumi, uh, so the working group uh, on meta heuristic and Mark Sevo gave us the pleasure also to be here as a speaker, but also as a representative of this uh, group. So, Mark, thank you. Thank you, Caroline. I, I don't know if I need the microphone. I, I used to. Yes, I need this. Okay. I don't like it. Anyway, so uh, as usual, it's a pleasure for us and for our group to support uh, events like this. Uh, uh, this is a, a very good opportunity for a PhD student or for uh, all the students to attend this school. I'm sure you will gain a lot of from the um, classes you will follow. And especially, I've seen the program and you have a lot of lab sessions and we are very keen on lab session because we all believe that you will learn much more using these lab sessions than, than uh, just listening uh, the old guy we are. Uh, contrary to Angel, um, Caroline and Philippe asked the money before asking me to be a, a speaker, uh, which I accept, of course, because it's always a pleasure to, uh, to be able to present our uh, latest research. Um, um, we are very proud to contribute to this. and. Uh, we all uh, wish you a very good uh, school here. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Want? So just blow. Thank you. So um, welcome in Tro, and uh, I wish you, you will learn everything uh, on Meta Six and over uh, on many many other things. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, maybe the bus arrived. <laughs> yes, welcome. <laughs> so just uh, as people are, are arriving, uh, Maybe the, uh, all the speakers are not uh, here yet, but maybe we can just uh, see the speakers uh, who will present you during the three days, a uh, uh, lot of science, to come here just to see uh, who they are. And uh, so can the, the speakers can come uh, just to, to present you. All of them are not there, but... <laughs> so, we are waiting for some, some others, but uh, we have, I don't know, from... Oh. I will begin with Andrel, you have already seen him, but Andrel Corberan will talk uh, Wednesday. Uh, we have Christian Prince who, uh, who will <laughs> give the first presentation in a few minutes. Uh, Marc Sevo will speak tomorrow morning, yes. Uh, Dominique Feuillet who will have a talk uh, at the end of the afternoon, middle afternoon, yes. Uh, Emmanuel Ebra 
who will speak uh, tomorrow, um, also a tutorial after, but yes, I didn't, didn't talk about tutorial, so. <laughs> and Leila, who will speak tomorrow uh, at afternoon, yes, afternoon. So um, we will have also other people, but uh, as most of you, uh, they have some difficulties to come, so <laughs> they are not all there, but they, they will come uh, for sure, because we have news and they will be there very soon. So thank you to all uh, of you. Uh, I just give uh, to Philip uh, the microphone for a few other words, and then we can we will begin the first course. So we just have um, a small announcement uh, to make uh, before beginning the, the school. Well, uh, this is just uh, for uh, French uh, people who are currently a PhD student. Uh, so I will make just, uh, I will give you some word in, in French. Uh, nous sommes en train d'organiser, de, de, d'essayer de créer le prix de la meilleure thèse soutenu en français autour des thématiques du transport et de la logistique. Voilà. Donc c'est euh, une initiative euh, du GT2L soutenue par un certain nombre euh, d'ANR. Donc euh, l'idée c'est de donner l'opportunité aux étudiants qui sont en thèse eh bien, de candidater au prix de la meilleure thèse. Donc ils seront sollicités pour euh, soumettre leurs documents et pour faire une petite présentation. Et le prix de la meilleure thèse pourrait être remis lors de la ROADEF 2019. Donc si vous êtes actuellement en deuxième ou en troisième année, ben, peut-être vous pouvez penser à candidater. Voilà, ce qui pourra permettre de valoriser la communauté. Et puis pour celui qui sera nominé, ben, il s'agit de quelque chose qui peut être intéressant pour les différents euh, dossiers. Donc nous vous tiendrons au courant de l'avancée euh, du projet. Donc on vous invite à consulter régulièrement le site du GT2L où on mettra un lien euh, sur, euh, sur le prix. Actuellement, il y a déjà une liste de membres du, 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 du jury qui est en train d'être constitué, mais qui n'est pas, euh, pas définitive. Et on est en train de créer un brouillon de, de page web sur lequel eh bien, on pourra faire candidature via, euh, via un moyen électronique de soumission. Voilà, merci beaucoup.